Changes Steelers need to make in the offseason. You already know what we're going to say first. You already know. Fire Matt Canada. Yeah. Get that bald son of a bitch out of here. Why are we having yet? I don't know. You see the Titans firing people. The Browns firing people. The Texans for some reason firing people. Like they always are. But we sitting on our goddamn hands just looking at this news. Doing nothing. Tomlin saying that, uh, you know, the, 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 the improvement from the offense is encouraging. The improvement from Matt Canada is encouraging. And he thought he did well. But he, when it comes to a decision for, for Canada, he's, he's not there yet. What does that mean? I don't know. It doesn't sound good. That's all I think about. Well, not just Tomlin's comment, but even Najee's comment from yesterday. Apparently, he said, according to Brooke Pryor on Twitter, Najee said, we all believe in Matt Canada. Who's we? We? <laughs> we. <laughs> I mean, we? I don't know who believes in Matt Canada, but me and Dan, I'm sure a lot of, a lot of you tuning in have no faith in Matt Canada. You could you could hang on to oh well the offense ran better once we got a run game going we kind of got an identity and Matt Cannon's play calling was a little better. I'm not going to disagree, but that's not saving his job in my book. No, that that's not enough to save his job. No, it's not. Is he is he an offensive corner that could lead us to the playoffs? Is he an offensive corner that could lead us to number seven? No. So what the fuck is he still in the job for? As a matter of fact, if you look at the rankings from last year with Ben Roethlisberger to this year with a younger quarter, two younger quarterbacks, our offense was actually worse. How that's the case, I have no fucking idea. But it was worse. Yet Matt Canada still has his job. Because, Can- because he improved literally a little bit. But that's not enough to keep your job. And that's not good for this team's future and Kenny Pickett's future. I'm sorry. Another problem with Canada is he has one year left under contract. We do not fire coaches. Tomlin does not fire coaches. It doesn't help. Uh, Canada got Dino Tomlin into Maryland, Tomlin's kid, and of course the 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 connection with Pickett from the Pittsburgh days in college. Yeah. So yeah, I mean all the ties are knotted together, and it's not looking good. It's, it's just not. It's just going to continue to the tradition that the Steelers have and, back with our former offensive coordinators, Randy Fickner, yeah. Todd Haley. It's going to continue that tradition, but that tradition ain't good. And because of the increase in in play from the offense, and because of the 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 nine and eight record, the non losing season, that might save his job. That does not in my book. That does not in our book. You guys can think differently. That you're right, but no, I am not bringing back Matt Canada. That dude should be fired right now. And we he said sucks. it, and we stated it before. We're going to say it. Stay it. State it again. If he stays, if Matt Canada remains as the OC, nothing will change. Nothing is going to change. I don't care what moves we make. Nothing is going to change. Not one thing. You want to hold on to that optimism? That's on you. Be my guest. But me and Dan here are not. No. We're sticking to our guns and we're going to believe. I'm, and I'm we're not... going to think that this offense will not change an ounce I'm if not... Canada's still the OC. And plus, with all the targets out there that we could bring in, the outside guys that we can bring in and interview, I mean, this is the best time to do it. So why not? Especially when you have a young quarterback. Yeah. I don't care if he has any history with Can that doesn't matter. That doesn't that doesn't do anything. It doesn't. No. Doesn't doesn't do anything in, in, in my opinion. So Canada should not stay in my book. He should not. Why he's not at one point in the season we were dead last in almost everything offensively. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that should that was, warrant that was, a firing. That was during the bye week. That should warrant a firing. Not if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, not if you're Mike Tomlin. I don't know why. If if Canada comes back, we are doomed. I have seen enough of the Canada experiment. So if if he comes back, I'm I'm not liking what next year's gonna look like. But I'm not holding my breath on the firing. I know we keep saying it. We've been saying it all year. We've been saying it since Ben retired, man. Since before Ben retired. But Oh my god, we were saying when Randy Figner was our OC. I'm, I'm, Randy's got to be fired, but yeah, he was never fired. I'm still going to scream at the top of my lungs, fire this guy. And until they do it, man, I I don't know. I'm just, I'm not holding my breath on it, but it's But just, hell, even then, I'm, I'm probably going to speak into existence, but this is what I'm predicting. This is what I'm going to guess because it's the Steelers' way. It's the standard nowadays. I already know what you're going to say. Candace going to remain the OC. He's not going to be good, but he's not going to get fired. After next season, he's going to leave... 
His contract's going to expire, and then we're going to promote our quarterback coach, Mike Sullivan. Either not, him. Not, not the Penguins coach. Either him or Pat Meyer, our O-line coach. Because Tomlin actually confirmed he had a little insight on the game planning for the offense. Which may, which, which may also explain why we were much better in the run game, but these in-house promotions aren't helping. Ever since Haley f- was fired, ever since Haley left, in-house promotions have not worked. Not once. No. Hell, as a matter of fact, ever since LeBeau left, ever since Haley left, we've done nothing but in-house promotions, and we're seeing the same issues we, year after year after year after year. And we've had how many different guys now? And where are those guys that left? Where are they now? It's time to change the formula. That's the first move that needs to be made. The first of many. It's the first that should should be made should have been made already, but it's not. What's next? What do you think? What's the next move? Offensive line. Offensive line, one hundred percent. You got to build the offensive line. Specifically, the left side. the The middle was fine. I would say Mason Cole filled in. I'd say decently. Uh, yeah, I agree. James Daniels is pretty solid. He he looked better towards the end. Uh, Chucks is I, right, but I'm not feeling his contract next year. No, no, I have to. I, I I would sense that they would do a pay cut. They would have to. If they take a pay cut, I'm bringing Chucks back. Why not? But the left side needs a complete revamp. Dan Moore is not the starting left guard or left left tackle. And Kevin Dotson's not the starting left guard, not by any chance. No, I don't. No. Know, I don't know what happened to Kevin Dotson. I don't know what happened to either. Maybe it's a little too much expectation on our part, but God, the progression has been rough from them, and they've shown nothing. That left side is is killer. Yeah. It's actually what's led to Kenny's first two concussions. Yeah. We need to build that left side. They got to fix that left side of the offensive line. And and I think the way they can do it is, I don't know who's in the free agency pool, but go out and grab a starting caliber left guard and draft a franchise left tackle. In my opinion, the 17th overall pick should be left tackle, the best available left tackle on the board. Yeah, That should be the first Steelers pick. You could say corner. You could say defensive line. You could say, excuse me, middle linebacker. But in my book, it's left tackle. Because we neglected the offensive line position for too many far, years. far too long for the first round. Too many years. We, we filled the void of you know the goon squad when they all left and they all retired. We filled... We, 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 we filled the line with mid-rounders. Yeah, exactly. Kendrick, that's, that's what I was trying to say. Kendrick Green, bum. He was on the bench all year. Why is he with the team? I don't know. Dan Moore, fourth round. Not much progression in his last couple years. Kevin Dotson, fourth round. Not much progression. Chuck, third rounder. He's the only consistent guy on that line that's decent. Yeah. That's been around for the past couple years. We have neglected the offensive line for far too long in the draft early. When we did focus on the offensive line early in the draft, who did we get? David Castro, fucking gem. Marquise, Marquise Pouncey. Pouncey, gem. Who could forget Alan Fanica? Decade, uh, pretty much two decades ago. Yeah, I know the Steelers have a decent track record of of mid round guys in the offensive line, but that that's got to change now. The formula that they've been doing the last couple of years has really set this team. It, it set this team back a little bit. They need to change the formula, and they need to go out and grab a franchise left tackle in the first round. That should be the 17th overall pick. No ifs, ands, or buts. Unless they trade for someone or they make a big signing, the left tackle position needs to be addressed number 17 come late April. They need to build the trenches for sure. They also obviously need to build corner. They need to build middle linebacker. They need to build defensive line. Yeah. The way to do that is you could bring back Ugin Joby. He looked good. I think he's a priority. You got to resign, as well as Edmonds, Sutton, Casey. Most importantly, yeah, those are the main four guys when it comes to the handful of free agents that the Steelers are going to have. Those are the main four guys you got to bring back ASAP. Everyone else, I say walk. Or Marcus Allen, walk. Bush, get the fuck out. Spillane, maybe, maybe he can come back. Maybe. Everyone else, take a dip. Otherwise, middle linebacker needs to be addressed. You could get someone in free agency. Everyone keeps saying Tremaine Edmonds, Terrell's brother. Why not? Get the Edmonds brothers together. Why yeah. not? There's also uh, decent guys in, in the draft. Same thing with corner. We need a corner. Corners corners are, are solid, but there's no significant number one. Levi Wallace is a number two. Sutton's a number two, but more so a slot guy. Witherspoon needs to go. William Jackson, they should not bring him back because that's just band-aiding corner and saying, guess what? We fixed corner. We 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 re-signed William Jackson, even yeah. though everyone forgot we traded for him. 
that's not improving cornerback. That's just fixing. That's just filling a gap. Yeah, you're relying on his first round pedigree, although he's an aging veteran who has injury problems and is inconsistent in coverage. Agreed. You don't need that. So we could do that in free agency. We could do that via the draft. We have, I think, four picks. No, three. Three picks in the top fifty. Yeah, three picks in the top fifty, but four in the top one hundred. Yeah. When was the last time Steelers ever had that? Couldn't tell you, man. So it gives them a big opportunity to fill these holes, man. Fill and these especially gaps. defensive line. Especially defensive line. I think they got to go defensive line early. Yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to number 32 being defensive line. In fact, if it was up to me, the first two picks would go to the trenches, one for each side. That's what they got to focus on. They got to protect their quarterback, and they got to get a guy in the middle to stop to, 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 to fill that gap. They haven't had anybody that has filled that gap in a long time. Probably since recently Javon Hargrave. Who's a free agent, by the way. To bring him back, we could look at that position in free agency. We, we could look at a lot of positions in free agency. But there's a lot of guys, a lot of young guys in the draft that, you know, we have the flexibility now that well, yeah, we I haven't gonna, had in recent years. I was going to say, we got, we got some flexibility with draft picks. We have cap room to work with, plus guys that might take pay cuts. This is going to be a very important offseason for the Steelers and Omar Khan. Yeah. This is Omar Khan's first offseason as Steelers GM, as well as Andrew Waddle, our uh, – our first, actually first ever assistant general manager in franchise history. Who, if you don't know much about him, he used to be a personnel for the Eagles front office. And if you look at the Eagles team now, you can thank him for a majority of their additions. Guys like Hertz, that entire offensive line was mostly his scouting. Yeah. And now he's going to be the assistant GM to Khan, where Khan's going to be that financial salary cap wizard like he always is. And Wild can just be that scouter, that guy to bring in talent. So that aspect... Gives me hope. It really does. It yeah. gives me hope for the offseason that we can bring in guys and make some decent splashes, and maybe the draft turns out pretty decent. Yeah. That, if, 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 if everything goes to plan, if everything goes according to plan, everything goes like we stated, right. they could hit a slam dunk, man. I agree. But because of that, and I don't mean to put too much weight on Con and company, but this is going to be a very important offseason. They need to strike with this offseason this year because, let's be honest, Hayward's time's running out. Watts only aging. He's still he's still a monster. He's not showing like, oh, Watts aging. He's declining. He's not. But the clock is ticking on Watt at some point. And Kenny is still in a in a contract, a rookie contract. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to strike before Hayward's prime's done, before Watts prime's done, before Minka's prime's done, before Tommen's out of here. Yeah. And before Kenny gets a big ass extension, if he is indeed the future. It's because of the miscues and the faults that we had in previous off seasons and drafts with Kevin Colbert. When you look back at it, Kevin Colbert kind of had a. Let's be honest. He man. had some rough off seasons when when we look back at him. Let's be honest, man. We love Kevin Colbert to death. Can't he's, thank the guy enough. He's done a lot of good for this team. But if you look at the past couple drafts, man, has he absolutely whiffed. Trading up for Bush was terrible. Not 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 focusing on offensive line early has really set the team back. Yeah. The past couple drafts has hurt us. It really has. If you look at each and every draft class the last probably probably since 2017, it's not that great. Not that fancy. Not a lot of guys where you look at the draft class and you're like, gem. Not much. Now, there's only a handful of guys that you can look at the previous draft classes that still remain with the team today. So this offseason, man, there's going to be a lot of changes, and it's going to be a big one for guys like Khan and company to absolutely strike. They have the stuff to do it. They have the flexibility. They have some freedom. Let's get it done. That's why I can't wait for the free agency period. I know we got a couple months to wait, but hopefully the coaching changes come first, and then that's when we can get excited for free agency period. Yeah. But again, I'm not holding my breath on the coaching, but I'm I'm excited to see what Khan and company can do, seeing what they have to play with. So again, not 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 putting too much weight on their shoulders, not trying to put too much on their plate, but this is a very this is big a serious and, offseason. This is a big and important offseason for for Khan and company. And I know we said that last year with Colbert, his his last one going out, but this one especially with with Pickett's second year, like we got to strike now, we got to strike within these next four years. Yeah. Because if we don't, man, I don't know. And honestly, I, I don't know if we win another Super Bowl with Tomlin because he hasn't shown me that he can take us back there because he hasn't won a playoff game since 2016. And he's just satisfied with a non-losing season. I hope I'm wrong. But guys, you know, 
We 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 got to get out of our comfort zone, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. What other changes need you made in the offseason, man? We we said Cannon needs to go. I would even argue Terrell Austin needs to be demoted, and we need to promote Brian Flores before the Browns or someone else takes him away. Um, obviously, we need to build the trenches. Yeah, like we said, offensive line, defensive line, middle linebacker, cornerback. Yeah. I think we just stayed about, you know, at least the main topics. I suppose uh, to, to, to continue on with the discussion of where Con and company got a strike, we need to make some certain splashes. Yeah, we do. Guys like Tremaine Edmonds, maybe even a James Bradbury, a Javon Hargrave, a Dayron Payne. Yeah. You know, guys we can bring in to fill those gaps and even add extra freedom for the draft. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely have to agree. Because we got cap to play with and 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 pay cuts to to possibly and, consider. And if you notice when Khan did take over after Kevin Cooper retired, when it came to Khan, you know, he he was doing non like stiller things, you know, compared to what Kevin Cooper did. Because even because coming into this offseason, like say say in July, coming into the 2023 Steelers offseason, we're like, fuck, we got to extend Minka. We probably got to uh, extend um, Boswell, maybe even Deontay. He did all that before the preseason even started. Yeah. So, yeah, he's he's doing things that are non stiller like So maybe we can hold on to that as extra hope. Mm-hmm. And hell, he even signed Larry Ogunjobi. Yeah, he did. And Ogunjobi had a, a nice year for the Steelers. Yep. He's, again, he's a guy we, he needs to he needs to come back. So. Yeah.